brethren very much. Now, let's have a look at you. Oh, God. <laughs> well, no, well, I might be wrong. You can't always tell at the start. You know, I'm worried. That's all I'm worrying for you. You haven't you, you paid anything to get in, have you? You got in for nothing, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Yes. Well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good. Well, I want to assure you, ladies and gentlemen, believe me, you won't find I'm wrong. You'll find it's absolutely worth it. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> get out. Get out. <laughs> now, look, before we start this little... I, I think I'm all those who ask for tickets for Parkinson. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Welcome to the second best. Anyway, look, uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we start this little nice tenfold, I want to make some... Uh, 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 no, listen, uh, no, don't get common. A little announcement. You see, this show isn't going to be like all the shows I've been doing recently. I mean, there's no, like, you know, there's no sort of, uh, what's the... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. It's no sort of curvaceous, you know, lovelies, lovely ladies. And mind you, I hope we get as many titters in this show. But the thing is that... <laughs> no, see, I think it's time to prove that I can rise above all that. <laughs> above all that, no. Because in real life, you know, Oh, in real life. I mean, I look down on that sort of thing. <laughs> Frequently. <laughs> Frequently. You fools, you, you fools. No, but the thing is this, you see, the BBC said to me, now look, Francis, you must have a new image. You must have a new image, you see. They said, you must show a part of yourself which has never been seen before. <laughs> show it, Missy, shall we find out what part we're talking about first? Before you start guffawing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go say you're going to be a godsend, don't you go? Oh, come on, not here tonight. No, the thing is this, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of me which has not been seen on television. I have many facets. <laughs> Those are the funny. You'd have died, actually. I was sitting at home. What's the day? It's, it's, uh, it's uh, Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. And um, I, there was a tap on the door. A tap on the door. Because my plumber's got a funny sense of humour. A tap on the door. <laughs> On the door, oh, shut your face. <laughs> and uh, there was a postcard, a postcard from the man who runs it here. What's the man who, what's the man who runs the BBC? There's a tall man. Well, the, the man who runs it. Do the enormous, you know, the thing. What's his name? Thing, you know, the godfather. The man who runs it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he sent this little postcard. It was a nice photograph, nice postcard of the TV centre. It was a nice when he, it was, um, it, uh, and he put a little cross, you see, where his window is, his office window. Very sweet. It was a very nice gesture, really. A bit different from his usual gesture. But anyway, he invited me to come round and see him. <laughs> he said, get yourself round here quick. So I came round to the BBC. It's very nice, isn't it? Have you noticed? You come in, it's a very nice atmosphere. Once you get past the Gestapo on the main gate. <laughs> you notice? So I went upstairs, I went upstairs to his office on the top floor, you see, and I knocked on the door and there was this shutter slid open. And this great fat face came peering through with a big moustache and a pipe, you see. Because they have some funny secretaries here, you know. <laughs> anyway, she said, come in, she said. And there's one there, you missed that one, come in, she said. Yes, she said, all right, now leave your wellies by the door. <laughs> now, she said, going to see uh, the, you know, the, uh, the, the, what's his name? What is the man? You know, he's got this enormous thing, you know. Well, anyway, <laughs> so, uh, no. Thing, they call him. Anyway, there he was in his office. So he said, ah, oh, now, Howard, he said, now this new show of yours. He said, look, we don't want any innuendos. Want a new image. No innuendos. I said, look. I said, I don't even know the meaning of the word. Either of them. I said, I don't know. He said, I don't want to sit in the audience. He said, watching vulgarity and sex and violence. I thought to myself, no. By the look of you, you get enough of that at home, I thought. <laughs> he said, look, any innuendo and it's out, you endo. He fell about laughing. Do you know, I could, have, I could have taken my fist and banged it on his table in protest, but it's very difficult when you're kneeling. <laughs> you see, no, he, said, he said, now, he said, you want to laugh? Want a good laugh, Howard? I said, yes, I could do with one. He said, right. Let's talk about the money. Of course, the BBC, you know, they're, not like, they're different to every other organisation you love. They're not the same as any other organisation. Oh, no, you see, with the other lot. Money, they say, uh, Mr Howard, how would you like your salary? Uh, cash or cheque? The BBC, they say, how would you like your salary? Heads or tails? You see? <laughs> A 
That's satirical, very satirical. Yeah. <laughs> very panorama. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. Anyway, we, we came to a compromise. I had to give in. And uh, this man thing, he extended a limp hand and he said, the audience is at an end. I think he was talking about some of you lot. Anyway, <laughs> no, so I thought to myself, I'll gird up my loins for my new image. I've been, no, I've been, oh, no. I've been taking singing lessons. <laughs> but, yeah, yes. Dancing lessons, acting lessons, acting, yes, you know, in case anyone wants to see my Hamlet. And then I was <laughs> done. <laughs> and then I, yes, I went to Madame Clara's uh, Dramatic Academy, drama school. Madame Clara's uh, jolly good, very good, yes. And they, no, no, uh, he, you died. See, we were rehearsing Romeo and Juliet, you see. And uh, in the midst of this, I was commanded to make a special appearance, but you never guess where. You'll never guess where. The old Bailey. <laughs> the old Bailey! No, here. Now, what a terror diddle. Now, listen. Now, listen. My next task is to, is to clean up the legal system because, I mean, I've never said. I've never heard such a terror diddle of claptrapery because they Twitter, 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 and then they, they have six men, six women, the jury, see? And they lock them all up together in this little room for eight hours. And that, yes, and they have the sort to come out and say, not guilty. <laughs> and smiling with it, yes. The wedding revelry is still going on, Mistress Anne. How thoughtless of the king not to be prompt on this your wedding night. He has gone hunting. Oh, but, 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 but I saw him at the dance. At the dance, that is where he has gone hunting. <laughs> I cannot help feeling this was all a big mistake. Oh, but surely you are proud to be Henry's wife. He may be the king, but he is no Steve McQueen. <laughs> In fact, I find him quite repulsive. Perhaps that is why I am so nervous and panicky. Oh, Your Majesty, I beg of you, keep your head. <laughs> Henry! <laughs> That could be a little difficult. You know him always chopping and changing. <laughs> Enter. I pray the king don't trumpet. <laughs> and I pray the king don't trumpet. Isn't that witty, isn't it? Ah, oh, well, shut your faces. <laughs> Continue the announcement. His Majesty, King Henry VIII, King of all England, King of Ireland, Minister of the State, and Defender of the Faith. Let's face it, when you're in, you're in. <laughs> arise, arise. Ah, young lady, who are you? The lady in waiting, Your Majesty. Oh, I, I don't think you'll have to wait much longer. <laughs> what is your name, girl? Uh, Catherine Howard. Howard? Howard, is that with an A or with an E? Uh, an A. Oh, not one of the noble Howards. What a damn shame. Never mind. Stand by to be number five. <laughs> Judging by that shower over there. You may come on to rain any moment. <laughs> oh, good girl. Yeah, oh, oh, no, yeah, oh, yeah. Go on, one for the road. Oh! <laughs> I'll keep in touch. <laughs> ah, Anne, Anne. Merry ten whole hours. Who said it wouldn't last? I like your beard. Oh, pardon? I like your beard. Do you have it, girl? Have it? <laughs> to the morning, no. Oh, um, mm, Anne. Please, do not call me Anne. Why? In German, my name is Anna. Anna? I like to be called Anna. Anna. Didn't you have a sister who carried the banner? <laughs> How coarse and vulgar you are. Coarse and vulgar? <laughs> Kindly remember that I come to you as any wife should come to her husband, pure and innocent. Oh, God, you keep it. Look, Anna, we've heard all about you and the King of Siam. Don't worry. No! Woman to bed! Come along! To bed! Yes, 
Hector Titus. Oh! 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 Oh dear. I've singed my pretty purse. Blooming cheek. Glass of wine. No, a glass. I want the old damn bottle. Give it to me. I'm oh, I'm burning. Just a second. Excuse me. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, oh, yes. Amusing little wine. I should think 1485. Yes. It has an interesting bouquet. Oh. There you are, girl. Have a glass yourself, mate. It is but a simple Madeira wine. All right, one glass of Madeira, you'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's an old Elizabethan joke now. Come on. You can have kind of modern little. Hello? Who's there? Your Majesty. <laughs> Forgive this intrusion. <laughs> yes, Thomas Cromwell. Thomas Cromwell. No, not no, no, wait a minute. It's not that Cromwell, because that Cromwell was a roundhead. He's a bit of a square. Thomas <laughs> Cromwell. What do you want? Your Majesty, I fear there are pressing affairs of state. My affairs are in a shocking state here. Now, I'm telling you something. Why do you interrupt me? This is my wedding night, isn't it? Ah, yes. I trust my lord enjoyed the banquet I organized. Oh, yes, not the bad. The music and the dancing. Yes, yes, not bad. What did you think of the dancers? Your Highness, for interrupting your nuptials. Oi, oi, oi. I've got nowhere near her nuptials yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> She's playing it real cool. Listen, she was your idea. She was your idea. Not mine, Your Majesty. Yes, she was. It was the unanimous will of the country. Was it? The people wanted this marriage to a man. Yeah, I think that's what I got, too. <laughs> Think of the political advantage of the matter. Political? Cardinal Woolsey himself. Oh, I'm sick of Cardinal Woolsey. Woolsey, Woolsey. It's bad enough having to wear his underwear. I'm so sick. <laughs> I need a decision Do concerning you. the Lord Privy Seal. The seal. Throw him a fish and get rid of him. That's the idea. That's it. Yes. And Cromwell. Cromwell. I have an urgent message for the master of the rolls. What? Tell him one ham, one cheese. Be gone. <laughs> Very well, Your Majesty. You're welcome. And now, uh, Anne, to bed. I would like to spend a little while longer on my tapestry. No mind your tapestry. Get weaving over here, mate. Come on. <laughs> no, Henry. No. Look, this is our wedding night. Now, what are we supposed to do? Let us play a little. Play? Oh, she's subtle with it, yes. Now you're talking, girl, yes. On the bed. Oh, on the bed, yes. <laughs> This is it. This is the bit you've been waiting for, yes? <laughs> get the kids to bed. Get the kids to bed now, yes? <laughs> ah! Now, let play commence. I have got to... the cards. The cards? Let us play happy families. Well, we don't need cards to play happy families. <laughs> no. Oh. My deal, I think. <laughs> Oh, God, it's going, be, it's going to be a long, hard night tonight, I tell you. Oh. <laughs> I have been... This is monstrous. I have been robbed. You have taken four of my manor houses, Bletchingley, Greenwich, Windsor and Richmond. Ah, uh, but remember, you have got your Hampton Court. <laughs> Do you mind, please? <laughs> We're waiting to continue the play. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not too soon, never mind. Who is it? Your Majesty. Oh, yes. Here's everything to your satisfaction. No, it isn't. My goodness, I'm having a terrible time here. I've been robbed. Let's face it, I've lost everything, and she hasn't lost anything. And it's her wedding night. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, I wish she'd go to sleep or doze off or I don't know anything. Perhaps we could help her. What do you mean, help her? A sleeping potion. Ah, a sleeping potion. 
Hey, sleeping potion. Don't you mind your splashing your sitting all over me. A sleeping potion, but look, Cromwell, not too much. Now, promise me, you can be very naughty, you know. Not too much. Just the teensy weensy trouble. <laughs> you. Yeah. Right. Oh, and uh, Cromwell, send in that uh, Catherine Howard, all right? Very good, Your Majesty. Oh, my go. That's it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> clumsy actor. Yes! <laughs> I got the original part here. Yeah. Oh, Henry, I'm beating. Of course, my pretty one. <clears throat> now, uh, before we commence, um, I would like a tinkle. <laughs> Wait on the spinet. What about the loot? My agent takes care of that. Now, here we are. Please come for me. All right, I'll play the, the flip side. All right, the flip side, yeah. Your Majesty. Hello, tea up. Just a second. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we are. Clark. No, no. What? That's hers. Oh, yes, hers. There's a draft in here. What did you say? I said there's a terrific draft in here, yes. Oh, it's bitter. Bitter out there. Here, get it down. Get it, you are. Get it down, you girl. What is this? Hey, well, it's, it's, uh, it's relief for night starvation, you see. Oh. That's right. Get it down here. There we are, girl. Here she goes. What? Nice? Oh, I Nice. It is delicious. Is it nice? <laughs> oh, here we are. This is it. Oh, 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 oh. Two falls or two submissions. Oh, 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 oh. She's gone. Is she gone? Yes. Yeah. Well, she's got she make up her mind. Which way are you going, girl? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Bingo. That's it. She's sleeping like a log. Like a log, yes. Put her in the fireplace. <laughs> No, no, Your Majesty. I'll put her in the room where all the queens go. Oh, yes. That little pub in the Fulham Road. That's it. <laughs> oh, I know, I know she's a bride. Be careful. Catherine Howard, coming number five. You sent for me, Your Majesty. Indeed I did. Come over here, my child. On the bed. There we are. Comfy, good. Now, my pretty, you know why I have Sent for you? Of course I do. Of course you do. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get cracking. Right. <gasps> <laughs> What's it to be? Polka, pontoon, or blackjack? <laughs> <laughs> Come in, number six. <laughs> When I was a marriage guidance counsellor... <laughs> why not, may I ask? A marriage guidance counsellor? Yes, mind you, that was quite a time ago, just before the divorce rate went up that way. <laughs> well, I was between engagements, you see. It was either that or driving a steamroller. So, anyway, I thought, well, the money's good. You know, well, well you know, and marriage guidance counsellor, I thought, well, it's not a bad job, you know, trying to understand the marital problems of young wives and also getting a bit on the side. <laughs> money, money, money. I tell you one thing, when you're in that job, you know, you learn a lot of things. After a few years, I know everything. I tell you one thing I found out, that marriage, now look, after a few years of marriage, you see that relationships alter, that they undergo, see the first flush of love undergoes a subtle change and it's replaced by something more permanent. Hatred. <laughs> no, and not just the young, not just the young, not just the young girl. No, but if, oh, the old oh, poor No, we have one poor old soul come in. Poor old soul, 105. 105. Yes, for advice. You know, same old story, of course. The fire had gone out of her marriage. And of course, yes. Could, what, could, but what could I do, 105? So in the end, she went home to her mother. But what else can you say? <laughs> I'm always asked, where are you going? Hey, yeah. I'm always asked one question. One, I'm always asked one question. Do I agree with sex before the wedding? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a... I'm always asked that now. I'm going, you, I'm going to give you a straight answer. I do not agree with sex before the wedding, particularly if it holds up the ceremony. <laughs> it's inconsiderate. It's inconsiderate. There are many questions we must face. We must face a lot of questions. For instance, is it right? I mean, should Roman Catholic priests be allowed to get married? Well, I say this, in all fairness, 
I, I would say this. Only if they're very fond of each other. That's what... <laughs> You see, England, Britain, every, all the whole country has become, has become great on love, on marriage, on love stories. The great love stories of history like Nelson and Lady Hamilton, Queen Victoria and Albert, Robin Day and himself. I mean, again, <laughs> satire again. No. No, it's true. Look at Henry VIII. Look at Henry VIII. Henry VIII. Six wives, six wives. I don't know how he kept it up. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. I couldn't do it, I'm sorry. Identity card, ration book, train ticket, the German Deutschmarks, not go easy for them. Family photographs. It's time you was off, sir. Well, good luck, old boy. Goodbye, Bunny, and thank you. You too, Squirter. Oh, 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 look out! Someone's coming. Well, bung ho, you types, bung ho, yes. Ah, Group Captain Howard, Group Captain Howard. Oh, Group yes. Captain Howard? Yes, Howard. The Howard. Lootly Howard. Surely you've heard of my loop the loops. I'm uh, sure. Uh, carry on smoking. I'm afraid we haven't had any cigarettes for months now, sir. Haven't you? Well, carry on craving. Oh. <laughs> Allow me to make the introduction, sir. Of course, of course. Introductions, yes. I'm Major Robinson, Royal Artillery. Jolly good. Please call me Bunny. I beg your pardon? Please call me Bunny. Why, where's it gone? <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, I'm sorry. Uh, may I introduce Captain Michaels, Remy? Uh, call me Mickey. Mickey. And Lieutenant Commander Warwick Mowbray. I'm Squirter. Oh. Have you seen the M.O. about it? <laughs> I am the M.O. Are you? I must remember not to get sick. Now, um, you types, you types, you realize I'm the senior type here, the senior type. I'm a damned important cheese, you know. I'm a personal friend of King George. And the sun shines out of me, Aston Martin. <laughs> <laughs> now, do sit down. Sit down. Uh, now, <clears throat> now, I think you'll realize there were probably, I mean, there were all prisoners here in Coldest Castle. And I think the, the thing to do is to escape. Can you keep a good thing to yourself, sir? What's her uh, name? What? <laughs> I said, what's her name? It's not a girl, sir. Pardon? It's not a girl, sir. Oh! <laughs> How long have you types been cooped up here? <laughs> no, sir. What he means is there's a, there's a big escape planned for tonight anyway. Escape planned for tonight? Oh, yes. Yes. Please, Mickey, do keep your voice down. The thing is, sir, I'm the escape officer, and we are all organized for Mickey here to go. Mickey? And what, uh, what experience have you had at escaping? Well, actually, no, sir. No, no, you look it. I mean, one needs an expert at this. I am the best ex apologologist that ever was. I'm the greatest ex apologologist since uh, Dandini. Don't you mean Houdini, sir? Who? Yes, that's it. I'll do the jokes, thank you very much. <laughs> With all respect, sir, where exactly have you escaped from? Oh, Flag 7 was the first. Yes, oh, Flag 7, we, um, it was rather, yes. We built a wooden horse. We built a wooden horse. But unfortunately, I placed it a little too far away from the barbed wire. Poor Fatty Armstrong. I mean, when he jumped, must have been damn painful. <laughs> I don't think you'll jump again for quite a while. Hawks, what, what dash bad luck? Like, and the second one was old flag eight, you know, yes. There we made, a, ah, yes, a dummy. A, a dummy, sir? A dummy, yes, we called it Albert R.N., you see. Yes, it damn really worked, too, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it is, sir? Well, you see, unfortunately, I got caught, but the dummy got away. He was damn clever, dummy. <laughs> dash bad luck, Yeah. Sir. Well, look, I mustn't digress. I really must get going now. Well, cheery by. Now, what have you got here? A hole or a tunnel? What is it? It's a tunnel underneath the oh, soap. Sorry, good. Oh, jolly good. Oh. I say, sir, look, this isn't fair. Now, I've been working on this tunnel now for nine months in constant fear of being caught by Jerry. My nerves are Ah, shut your face. This is war, man. Hand me my golf club. Oh, now, you? really, sir, escapes may be affected from Colditz Castle only in the approved manner. Well, I approve the manner I'm going. Look Thank here, you. sir, I must say I think this is jolly thick. Do you? Poor old Mickey. He'll be working on this jolly tunnel for weeks Wait, now. Yes. Look, I mean, you've broken his spirit. All sir. right, it's not all, right. all right, all right. Don't get excited. We don't want to break Mickey's spirit, all right. We'll draw straws. 
We'll all draw straws fair as fair. There you are. That's the style. There we are. There we are. <laughs> Run, so you are a lucky chap. You've got a much bigger one than any of us. <laughs> well, I don't want to boast, but one day I'll show you how I did it. <laughs> now, there we are. I'll be off. Loopy Howard hides Homewood. Then. Just a oh, check, sir. Cheery, boy. You'll need these. What's those? Uh, wire cutters, sir. And uh, don't forget to put on the rubber gloves. The wire's electrified. Electrified rubber gloves. But once you're through that and across the moat... Moat? Then the searchlights won't be able to pick you up with the machine gunners. Searchlights, machine gunners? Now comes the tricky bit. Now comes the tricky bit. <laughs> At the mouth of the tunnel, sir. The land... Landmines? You're right. We mustn't break Mickey's spirits. Here you are, lad. Good luck. Oh, 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 Non can. Oh, good evening, gentlemen. And who's in command here? I'm in command. Hard! Who might you be? Who might I be? I'll tell you who I might be. Group Captain Bomber Belsize. That's who I might be. He might be, and he is, too. Group Captain Bomber Belsize? Well, then who is this? This confounded hide is my Batman. Batman? Batman? Yes, sir. Leading air craftsman, cannon fodder Howard. You said, as the Germans overwhelmed our position, you said, let me press your uniform, sir, you yes. said. Then you can surrender in style. Well, you did, sir. You did surrender in style. In the most unusual style. Yes. In your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> you are quite right, Howard. You are quite right. There will be a court-martial, Howard. Oh, thank you, sir. There will be a fair trial, Howard. Thank you, sir. And you will be shot! <laughs> oh, sir! Oh, sir, say nothing. Oh, sir, listen. I put on your uniform deliberately, sir. Deliberately, you see. In order to get captured myself. Oh, you yourself? So the hands would capture me. You, I Yes, see. I said you, because I wanted to prepare the way for you to escape. Escape? You to I escape. See, I see, I see. See? Now. I have worked my fingers to the bone, sir, digging this hole for you. My dear fellow, I have misjudged you. You have, sir. I'm not just a worthless irk, sir. Good luck, sir. Thank you, indeed. Thank Good luck, sir. My name, folks. Listen, sir. Oh, listen. What? When you get back to Blighty, could you do me a favour, sir? Look, could you find my dear old dad and explain in detail how you made this escape? What's his address? Well, uh, the Dartmoor, second landing. You can't miss him. <laughs> <laughs> just that way. Look, there you go, sir. That's it. You all right, sir? Yes, happy journey. There we are. Salute, Bomber Bell size. Yeah. Oh, the landmines. No, it's not. Oh, the land... <laughs> sir, mind the landmines, sir! <laughs> Poor Bomber. He's gone off at last. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Name. If you were to glance up, the question would be superfluous. <laughs> Name? <laughs> the laughing policeman. <laughs> My name is Howard, Francis P. And wait a minute, wait a minute, please. Don't ask me what the P stands for. I've enough trouble with that at school now. I address. 37 uh, Honeysuckle Crescent, Stepney. 37 Honeysuckle Crescent, Stepney. Stepney. Yes. Right. Now I've come here. Birthplace. What is it? The Spanish Inquisition? Now, I've come here to report about a car. Well, what about a car, sir? My car has been pilfered. Tittle at diddle. It has been taken away without my consent. Snaffled. That's what about my car. All right, where did you leave it, sir? In the forecourt. Which forecourt? Buckingham Palace. <laughs> what? Buckingham Palace? Oh, yeah, did the first time. Hey, what? now wait a minute. What? Well, I think I've got a report about yeah, that. Yeah, they've tell me a bit of efficiency, I must say. Yeah. Well, here it is. Yes. A white mini. That's right. It? A two tone white mini. <laughs> two tone white? Yes, half it needs cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Very funny, sir. Yes, boom, boom, yes, uh, indeed. You'll be delighted to know, sir, your car hasn't been stolen. Very good, thank you very much. Where is it? It's been towed away. Towed away? By whom? By us. By you? <laughs> towed away? You it's hurting me, this. <laughs> Towed away. What right have you got to tow my car away? We've got every right, sir. Don't get familiar now. <laughs> I mean, do you realise the enormity of your crime, sir? Oh, what? what? You're not allowed to park in the forecourt at Buckingham Palace. Why not? There was plenty of space there, wasn't there? <laughs> there were no double yellow lines, no parking meter, which must be a godsend for her. Let's be. <laughs> Have you quite finished, sir? Why, you in a hurry? Is the policeman's ball tonight? <laughs> Don't try and be funny with me, son. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm not in a very good mood this evening. Really? Well, you would never have guessed. Really? <laughs> now, what about my car? What about your car? Yes. It's in the pound. Pardon? In the pound. <laughs> and you'll need six now for them to get it out again. I think in our pound. Yeah. And uh, with all the other charges, you'll be lucky if you get off with ten years. Wait, wait, what are the charges? If you are hinting about the willful damage to the roll car, it was not willful damage, it was an accident. What was an accident? Hey, what was an accident? <laughs> ah, yes. This. <laughs> a wiper. What? A wiper? What do you think it was? A satellite? Yes, it was. <laughs> yes. No, ah, you see, uh, it's, if you have a constable passing by the palace, would you mind getting him to drop this to the letter box? Thank you so much. <laughs> that came off the... That's right. How did that get into your possession? Ah, well, now, look, you see. You see, I saw a car next to me, parked next to me, you see. So I thought to myself, now, I must write a note. A note? Oh, otherwise she'd be so hurt, you see. If she thought I was in the vicinity, now I hadn't dropped a note. So I wrote this note and I put it under the windscreen wiper, like a parking ticket. You've heard of a parking ticket, have you not? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. And this damn thing came off of my hand. Terrible work. Shoddy. Real shoddy workmanship. It's prevalent. Look. Made in Hong Kong. Look at that. It's disgusting. <laughs> Well, why write a note in the first place? Mm, to apologise. Uh, for parking? No, for backing into a car. <laughs> for backing into a car? Well, it you... was protruding. The whole thing was inadvertent. Uh, Sorry. Uh, tell not. me, sir. Yes. If it's not an impertinent question. Do feel free. How did you come to be parked in the poor court of Buckingham Palace in the first place? Oh, I was naughty. I fibbed. Francis was a little bibber. No, I told a lie to that man on the gate, the, you know, the soldier who was guarding, and I said yes. I said, I was there to do a gig. A gig? Yeah, a Royal Command performance. A Royal Command performance? <laughs> I said, 20 minutes in the throne room was I was asked to do that, you see. Save her majesty, traipsing down to the Brixton Working Men's Club, you see. <laughs> a long way. God, you God, see, God. He, he believed me, he believed me, this guardsman. <laughs> oh, gullible guardsman. <laughs> oh, no, a nightmare. Are you oh. here? Shop, shop. Oh, thank, thank you. Wait here. Oh, I'll wait. Hello, hello. East Bank Police. What? Oh, yeah, what's the address? Winthrop Close. You're all right, I'll get a man over there. No, 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 I know where it is. I live in the same street, you burke. Oh, excuse me, did you say you lived in Winthrop Close? Yeah, that's right. What number? 25. 25. You must know my sister, Edie. Edie Stewart. Edie Stewart? Yes. Keeps the greengrocer's shop on the corner. <laughs> Double front. I'm hey. in the shop, I mean, not my sister. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, well, that'd be awesome. Yes, if you will. Would you bring my car round to the front, please? Oh, sir, we won't want to keep you waiting all that long, sir. We'll lend you one of ours. Oh, you're so we gracious. We are the champions. We are the champions. It all. Hello, Chalk. It's Chalky. It's Frankie, Hello, my Chalky. dear friend. <laughs> yes, well, we're not as dear as all that, thank you very much. Yes. Don't tell me that you two know one another. Yes, we're old friends, aren't we? We were drug up together in the slums, weren't we, Chalky? I can't bear it. Evening, Sergeant. Oh, right. Stow me. You could launch the Concord on your breath. I've got him on three charges, Sarge. On three charges? I'll go and write up my report. Ah, <laughs> oh, 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 poor Chalky. Don't <laughs> sob. Don't, don't dry those tears. You'll shrink in the sergeant's trunch and look no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't go, you upset him now. What's upset you, Chalky? What's the matter? Oh, God. Oh, my feet. You've had a skin full, haven't you? Now I know how a newt feels. Dear, oh, dear. <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll hey? kill him. When I find him, I'll kill wait him. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kill who? The bloke was stolen my missus away from me. Your missus? 
You mean she's left you? No, 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 no. But I found Sunning out. What's Sunning? She's got a bit on the side. On the side of a what? <laughs> oh, you mean she and another are oh, participating? How do you know? We, you see, I, I found this letter. Oh, a letter in her purse? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so damning. It's so damning in her purse. Let's have a look now. What does it say? Now, my dearest Reen. Oh, how romantic, isn't it? From the first day I saw you, I fell head over heels for you. You must be an acrobat. <laughs> Why don't we consummate our... Why don't we consummate our love? Our love for one another. I'm on nights. <laughs> See you under the viaduct, 11 o'clock next Thursday. Your loving Lionel. Lionel, oh. It's all right, Thursday. It's all right. He hasn't consumed yet. You're all right, boy. <laughs> He's put his address here. What a silly twit. Look, what does it say? 25 Winthrop clothes. He's put... <laughs> Turn asunder, Chalky. Turn asunder. Hello, Lionel. <laughs> you, de you better give me that letter, Oh, lecherous Lionel. Shut up. Look, would you mind having my car brought round to the front, if you don't mind? Certainly not. Sure, Dad. All right. <laughs> I think in future, I shall park my car in your station yard. Would that be all right? For oh, you! I knew you wouldn't mind. Come, a Chalky, let us proceed. Good afternoon. Yeah, thank you. As a matter of fact, people, people talk a, a lot about the glamour of show business. You know, the glamour of show business. They say, oh, the glamour and the glitter of it all. Oh, it's the first I've seen of it, I tell you. <laughs> eh? Glamour, glitter, it all. Well, I mean, take our producer, would you? <laughs> there wasn't much glitter about him, is there? Let's face it. His dandruff spark was a bit, that's about all. <laughs> no, I know, it's a terrible thing. You know, but I tell you one thing about him. Fair dues, fair dues, the producer, Ammons. John Ammons would be livid if I don't mention his name. But, <laughs> no, but, no, listen, you see, he has one very nice knack, happy knack, of making you feel wanted. It does, you know, it makes feel, artists feel wanted. No, no, no. Just before the show, he took me into a corner and he left me there. <laughs> oh, lovable, lovable. Because all, you know, all show business people, we all suffer from, from insecurity, you know. It's like, well, everybody does come to that. You know, this awful feeling of going on, wondering how long you can go on before you're rumbled. And security, oh, security is a terrible thing. Mind you, this lot don't help the BBC. No! Do you know the option on my contract comes up every half an hour? <laughs> well, and it's just as bad here. It's just as bad here in the television centre. It's just as bad. Because oh, insecurity lurks on every floor here. What can you, what can you expect? But the names on the doors are written in chalk. <laughs> There's a damn rag hanging by the, by the side. It's just a damn rag. What do you expect? But, you know, being out of work, putting on false beards and going down to the soup kitchens is too much, you know. But you see, no, but you have to learn to rise above it in this business. You have to, remembering down below that you're a real professional, that you're a real trooper, doubt dealing with a, a real professional. I was having a kip on the bench in a park one night. <laughs> And this copper came along and shone his torch, his torch on my face. I got up and did 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to it. It's the lights, you see. Oh, no, but of course. Uh, do, you know, do you know what we artists do in the profession when we're not working? Charity shows. We do charity shows. <laughs> I once did so many charity shows, and they had all one for me, I tell you, eventually. Do you know something? Here, must here, come here. Here, listen. Do you know something? I found out there's a nudist colony near me. Now, would you believe that? In the middle of the town, a nudist colony? I only came across it by accident, you see. I saw this house, all these trees and that, and it's a very high wall, very high wall. I couldn't get over it. No, a very high wall. <laughs> But they told me that's all they all, they, they told me that's where they all hang out. And I was, um... <laughs> no, what goes on behind those walls in that garden, I can't imagine, but I, I have to laugh. Can you imagine that all these nudists sit down suddenly on these, these marble benches? <laughs> it must sound like a burst of applause. <laughs> that's a 
an old gag, isn't it? It's an old gag. So I, I like the old gags, girl, don't you, girl? The, old, the best, the old gags, yes. Because I, 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 I love nature, I love the outdoor life. I mean, I love... Oh, yes, I, uh, that's why I became a scout master. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I became a scout master, yes. I've done many a good deed for old ladies. <laughs> and young ladies, yes. <laughs> many a good deed, yes. No, I think it's a marvellous thing, scouting, and to be a scout master. I mean, you learn, I mean, you I mean, for instance, take Woodcraft. Now, take Woodcraft. You see, I think no young man should be without a knowledge of Woodcraft, you see. You never know when you need to be crafty in a wood. <laughs> Who's there? Howard. Howard who? How would you like to see... Your meter read by me. <laughs> ah, is it God help us? <laughs> that reminds me, I must buy some melons on the way home. <laughs> uh, good morning. Oh, it's good evening. I'm so sorry. Good evening. I'm sorry to drag you out of bed. <laughs> oh, you silly boy! I've been up for hours. Have you? As a matter of fact, I was just about to pop out. Yes. <laughs> She's telling us, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> Well, now. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, the mind boggles, doesn't it? Is your mind boggling? Don't it boggle too much? <laughs> Madam, you can allow me to see your gas meter, please. Oh, you're new, aren't you? Yes, this is my first week, and you are my last job of the day. Oh. I mean, uh, <laughs> a, uh, if you'll pardon the expression, yes. The other gas man used to call three times a week. Three times a week? You're a bit heavy on gas, aren't you? <laughs> What's happened to him? Uh, yeah, well, he's not very well. No, he's not very well. <laughs> oh, dear. And he was so good at it. Yes. No wonder he's not very well. <laughs> yeah, may I come in? Well, then, handsome, yes, come on in. Uh, yes. Well, I'll try. It's going to be a little difficult, isn't it? Could you flinch just to say thank you so much? Oops. There we are. Thank you. Now, madam, if I can just check, please. Oh, I say. Yes. Well, you are tall, aren't you? Yes, I, uh, I suppose it's my height. Mm. Now, um... <laughs> and so masculine. Oh, it is so important, yes, don't you think? I think so, especially for a man. Yes, I do. And I guess I would say you are very muscular. You would? Yes, oh, I like a man with rippling muscles. Do you? Yes. Well, I haven't come here to ripple, missus. No, I've, um, <laughs> I've come here to do a job, you see. Well, get on with it, then. Yes, well, I don't know where it is. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> the meter, the old gas meter, you see. Oh, how can you talk of meters at a time like this? Uh, with the utmost difficulty, dear. Look, if it's... Uh, look, madam, madam, I am just a simple man uh, come uh, to check your dials. Oh, I mean, to, uh, to read your meter. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Well, that's upstairs. Upstairs? Uh, mm, in my bedroom. In her bedroom. In her bedroom? Funny place to keep a meter, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, well, I'd better go and check her pressure. <laughs> there we are now. There we are. Ah! <laughs> I don't know where a meter is. I'm damn sure it's not there. <laughs> Funny please, woman, oh. please, missus, if What's you don't mind. Wrong? What is the matter? Don't you find me attractive? Yes, I'm very attractive, dear, but the thing is, I must look at your gas meter. Where is it? Under the stairs. Oh, well, I should say that before. Under the stairs, right. <laughs> ah, missus! <laughs> missus, it's very nice of you to keep me company, <laughs> but I can manage better on my own, thank you very much. I thought you might have a little difficulty groping about in the dark. <laughs> Look, dear, the only groping that's going to be done is between me and the gas meter. You understand this? I shall not quit these premises until I have measured your firms. Oh. I mean, uh, your gas... Uh, the, the... That is exactly what I would like you to do. Would you? Don't you want me? Yes, I want you to stop it. Yes, I do. Hold me. Hold me close. If I hold any clothes, I should be measuring the meter next door. I was... Kiss me! No, I cannot. Look, missus! Missus! I cannot kiss you, please! Look, 
I realize I'm attractive to women. I realize that. <laughs> I realize I'm attractive to women, but if I was to submit to every customer who isn't getting a share, I mean, I should be down to about two meters a day, wouldn't I? And I wouldn't be able to see them very clearly. Oh, no. <laughs> No, madam, I'm sorry. Have you got a husband or something? Oh, yes, but he's a terribly jealous type. Is he? He won't let me go near another man. Good. Well, I shouldn't think you can get very near, can you? <laughs> Besides, he's out all day and I get so bored. Bored? Well, haven't you got any hobbies? Yes. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> haven't you got any other hobbies? Why don't you take up all in wrestling? Oh. You'll make a fortune of that. But you are so handsome. Well, I... Oh, that noble brow, that aquiline nose, those limpid eyes. Yeah, she's right, you know, she's right. <laughs> Madam, do you realize the only thing that stands between you and my naked body are my clothes? Don't you understand that? Now, for goodness sake, use a bit of decorum. Oh, stop worrying. I mean, oh, my husband won't be back for hours. Yes, oh, come on. Kiss me. Hold me. Take me in your arms. No, madam, no, no, no. I will not kiss you, I will not hold you, and I will not take you in my arms. No, no, no. That is final. Do you understand? Please. All right. <laughs> Go. <laughs> We have loads of time. It's only half past five. What time? Half past five. Half past five? Good great. I must be going. I must be going. Where are you going? Well, you don't think I do this sort of thing on my own time, do you? <laughs> hey, what a damn sauce. <laughs> have you enjoyed it or enjoyed it? Yes. yes. Any complaints? You have misses? You have, dear? Well, see a doctor, dear. Don't come near us. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. God bless you. The best of luck. Thank you very much.